Yo, what is up? Use some Pokemon Gym Leader Battle Challenge against Annabelle. Uh, even though I feel like I'm, pr I'm still pronouncing the name wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, but that's generally what it sounds like. And in, I hopefully I'm not, yo, killing the name because I know I didn't want you to get triggered over the name. Uh, uh, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and choose the League Title Defense song, and we're gonna choose the team that is going to be against uh, Annabelle's ground type team because she is the ground gym leader, and we're challenging the ground gym leader today. Uh, eventually, I'll hopefully later on challenge the electric type gym leader and some other gym leaders that are on the uh, battle tower uh, amino, the Pokemon battle tower amino. So hopefully that's a thing where against the other gym leaders, hopefully they're online to be challenged. But right now we're challenging the gym, the ground gym leader being Annabelle. Oh, and when it comes to the gym leader rules on the the ground gym leader is OU and below. I kind of have generally OU and below. Uh, I only have one super effective Mon, and I only have two Pokemon that generally have a super effective moves. On that as well so that's a thing when it comes down to it um trying to see if the camera is matching up uh generally i think that's pretty much it i don't have any mega evolutions that would technically be super effective against it i do have blastoids but i'm not going to use the mega evolution for blastoids so that's generally the case when it comes down to blastoids i'm not gonna really use mega blastoids i feel like i should have hit the uh what's his name uh trying to think of the name uh i feel like i should have put in espion because just in case magic bounce would be a thing for this uh battle because if if anything, if he's going with a uh, Duck Trio, he his Duck Trio might have Stealth Rocks, or any of his mods might have Stealth Rocks. That would have been a perfect thing instead of having Blastoise who have Rapid Spin. That would have been the case. Uh, but generally, I, again, like I said, I have two Pokemon that technically have super effective weakness against Annabelle. So. Whatever it takes might get the take off of here. I might might be able to win against the ground type gym leader. Depends on what are I've been I mean I've been thinking what I should be using against the gym leader before I actually challenge the gym leader. Okay, this is interesting. I was not expecting the Hippopon, the Hippopon, okay. So, generally, I kind of want to go for Energy Ball just to see, take it out in one hit. But, just to see if it has uh, any, um, <clears throat> what would be the word? Like, what's the word? Uh, trying to think of the word. Any uh, stealth rock usage, I'll just flinch it first or have any focus slash. I pretty much broke the slash of if it have any focus slash. I don't, so it does go for the stealth rock. See, perfect play, perfect play. So now since I have Blastoids in, He's either I go for the rapid spin right there and predict the fact that he's gonna switch in 
to another Pokemon because he's fearing the skull. Or he's gonna stay in and he's gonna, you know, do whatever he is. But he decides to go ahead and switch out into a uh, Seismic Toad. That's perfect. That's what I want him to do. Switch into Seismic Toad. Because again, that kind of puts me into another switch off. But I'm trying to figure out who I should switch into. Since this is a... I want to switch into Ed and Eddie. Just because... I'm going to sack off Ed and Eddie. Grass knot. Yep. Like I said, I'm gonna sack off Ed Ed and Eddie just because. Now, it's either I get the toxic off or I'll go for stealth rock. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can land the toxic. I do land the toxic. I really don't need stealth rock when it comes down to the team here. So grass not does take out Ed and Eddie. That's fine. That's that's generally fine by me. I'm not really truly worried about that. As long as I can get the poison off, that's fine. Again, I'm generally having my Pokemon who's basically technically will be our sweeper, and that's our uh Kaon, who's name referenced from the uh the Lion King's uh, sequel as to the show of uh, Simba's son. So I'm gonna try to energy ball. Again, this is the case of me just like a Pokemon that technically has a grass move that I could use against his Pokemon. So energy ball does land right off it is set up for a two hit ko i do outspeed his senshru because i am choice scarf that's i'm just pretty much putting in the damage he's gonna send out his hypnopapon so i It should set it up for a 2-hit KO. It does not set it up for a 2-hit KO. Oh my. That means I should have a choice specs. Uh, uh, you know what? Actually, now that you mention it, I want to go ahead and switch out. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to switch out. I'm gonna make the plays and I'm gonna switch out because it, he might use Stealth Rocks again. So, here's the thing he might use Stealth Rocks again. If he doesn't, then fine. I, I have nothing to worry about. So, he decides to go for the. Hmm. EQ. Okay. I could go for a Dark Paws. Or an aura spear because he might switch into a seismic toad because I still haven't took out his seismic toad. I'm gonna go for the dark paws because again he still has seismic toad, so technically seismic toad should still be able to be still immune to uh, my set of moves. And then, since I think he's going to try to do, I'm going to try to go ahead and switch into Godzilla. Because he's going to still try to use Grass Knot. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, he's decided to use Earth Power instead. Not a bad move there. Uh... Since it is a water and ground type, the only effective moves I got is Crunch or uh, 
Earthquake. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. Earthquake is not really gonna do as much as it needed to. But it should get the job done to the point where the poison should take it out. So that's probably a good thing. If not, that definitely sucks. But other than that, it does give me a free switch in into my Keon. It, it, like I said, Poison might end up taking on his, uh, might be able to take it out, and that's what happened. I'm thinking he might switch back into his Hippon. That's really what he could do, since I am switching into Keon. That kind of would suck. I would have to like switch out and probably sack off. Yeah, I feel like I might have to sack it off. Because at a two hit range, I don't think there's anything I could do. What other Pokemon did he have? Uh, let's see. I know he haven't choose. Uh, his slants, his uh, what's his call? His uh, Exedrill or his Duck Trio or his Needle King yet, and uh, all three of them are pretty much weak to water and ice, and one's pretty much is weak to ground, and I pretty much generally, I don't know. Because, again, like I said, I can't really, like, take it out in another hit. That's That kind of sucks. This hit pawn is pretty much bulky. Oh, my gosh. He does end up leading off with a Stealth Rocks. That means I should have just go ahead and switch into the... Uh, what you call it? I should have just switched in. Yeah, yeah, I should have just switched. He's gonna summon out Exadrill. That kinda is unfortunate. It's a crit. Uh, I don't know. I think I, I can still outspeed his Exadrill. He do, I, I can't. So his must his Exadrill must be a choice scarf as well. That directly sucks. Now, now we have like an extra drill that's pretty much choice scarf. Uh, I don't know the speed of extra drill though. That's that's kind of that's kind of alarming right now. That I don't know the speed of extra drill. That's kind of alarming. I'm gonna have to look up extra drill speed. That's kind of alarming now. Let's see. Because I would hate to get into the, a... Because if it's Choice Scarf, depending on the speed of Excadrill... Where is Excadrill? Here's Excadrill. 88. So 58. So that's 120. That shouldn't even outspeed. That... What the fluff? Does EQ outspeed me? Oh, then it's probably a Jolly set. That's wild. That is wild. I was not gonna outspeed. That's that's weird. Cause uh, even if if it was a Jolly set, I should still outspeed from a Jolly set uh Pokemon. That's weird. Like. Even if it was a timid or a jolly choice scarf set Pokemon, I generally feel like I was should outspeed his choice scarfer. But again, you know, by some luck, that wasn't the case. He was able to outspeed me. That's that's interesting. Kind of makes me wonder. He decides to switch out into his Needle King. 
I wasn't able to get the... Okay, that's cool. That's fine by me. At least I get the super effective... What the f... I don't outspeed... That is wild. That is wild. Like, like, I'm trying to do all, like, the freaking ads and whatnot. I'm trying to add, like, what move sets or what. Like, this Pokemon shouldn't even outspeed me. This Pokemon shouldn't even outspeed me. But you're outspeeding me. Like, oh, darn, I shouldn't have did that. Dang, predictions, bro, predictions. That really sucks. There's really nothing I could do. You pretty much wins this because he outspeeds he could get an EQ off and EQ could just kill me right there and I survived on one and oh my god are you kidding me are you freaking kidding me what the hell Richimaru what the freaking hell how are you gonna You fell me as a Pokemon, Orochimaru. You fell me as a Pokemon. You could have one shot it. This fucking. Duck. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I have lost against Annabelle. I'm kind of hella mad. Guys, hella mad. GG. GG. That's. Oh my god. GG. That's. That's. I'm hella mad. Fucking. Oh my god. I'm so mad. GG. But I'm so mad. Bro. I feel like that was pretty stupid. Because. Origi Marl should have landed the freaking. Focus Blast. And somehow, Remek just somehow, his Pokemon decided to dodge at the right moment where I needed to actually fucking, ah, uh, like, ah, uh, oh my god, uh, guys, if you enjoy the battle, I am so hella mad. Comment, share, subscribe, bash the like button, picture score shades on sales, guys. Bye.